doing here, Fury? Ready to go get that coon? Come on. Welcome back to another episode of Louisiana Loudmouth. We're going tonight and we're just taking fury. So Gypsy is mad. Woo, is she mad. Her and Tiger and Buddy, they're going to be just raising cane. Pablo's back at the house on the shot collar. He's going to be raising cane. But got to get some confidence sometimes. So tonight's the night. All I'm bringing is this GoPro. So that's all the camera we got. So. Y'all stay tuned. Thanks for watching. First cut loose. Of confidence builder night. You can hear Pablo barking back over here. And you can hear Gypsy and Tiger barking back over here. And Fury is gone. I know there's an old coon that lives right here in this corner. I've seen him several times when I've hunted this. There's a triangle patch of woods right here. And I've turned loose several times in there and they'll just run all night trailing. They never tree anything. But this is, a, you know, it's, it's kind of open on the end. There's a thicket right here and it's 300 yards of crawling. But if I go around this edge of trees and go on down the edge of the tree line, there's a little road that cuts in and then it opens up on the other neighbor's property. So hopefully we stay on this property. Right here. And she's only been gone about two minutes, so or a little over two minutes. And she's out there about 180 yards. I want y'all to keep in mind, this is a seven month old pup. She's at a high style in Frank and wipe out buck and a big money female. So, seven months old and she's doing it to it. She's 207, well 202 yards now. Don't sound promising. Yeah. 
she ain't having it like she normally does, so we're gonna stay put. Pretty good locate. Apologize about the darkness, but I'm trying not to call her in here to me. I do have this little light on this uh, GoPro turned on, but it ain't on bright, so just bear with us. All right, she has moved. She's 152 yards now. She was in this corner over here, trying to tree. Now she's coming back. She didn't like it or something, I don't know. She done quit trailing. Left that track completely, so it must not have been as fresh as I thought it was. She's headed for the thick stuff now, so just a waiting game. Go find that coon. Doing what she's supposed to do. Go back in there and get a head. Alright, well I'm going to pause this while she's doing her thing. Maybe next time we turn it on we'll be at a tree. So y'all hang tight. We moved across the field. And she is right here. Well, we've been going for 31 minutes. We hadn't treed one yet. She's finally moved to the other side of this patch of woods. I don't know if y'all can still hear gypsy and tiger barking. And she's 126 yards. Sounds like she wants to look up, but she's still moving. She's working a straight line in there. I mean, she's located a couple times but she ain't figured it out yet i moved her from that other patch of woods after i heard that i don't know, i guess it was a deer running out of the water uh, i didn't want to start that tonight so uh we just moved across the field about 200 yards got in this little triangle patch and we don't ever make a tree in and we'll see if she can tree something tonight treating there for a second. <clears throat> I'm going to ease out here. Maybe she'll go back to the tree. And... Yeah, right 
the way she did it, but she ain't falling. And she then moved off up here, but she was treeing back here. She evidently didn't like it. She to made this little loop about four times. She'll go up here about 20 yards ahead of the range and cut back across and come right back in here where she just treed. She just ain't real sure of herself by herself yet. You think I bother? I don't know where she located the tree at. Located right over yonder. She's hearing them other dogs. She's hearing them other dogs, and it's got her more interested, I guess. Sounds like she got some competition. Mm. Just don't know. Hate to call her off of the track, but it's time to go. Said that while ago, but I got off because she treed. And now she done got off of it. Which I'm I'm proud of her. Proud of her for not staying on on a tree that ain't got a cone in it. Cause she evidently didn't think he was there. Or she wouldn't have left it. Well, can't have it all, right? So, we're walking out. We've been hunting for two hours. Gary couldn't uh, work out any of the tracks she ran tonight. I let her run one for about 30 minutes. And uh, it was a hot track. She was sitting there trying to wind it and never could put it up a tree. So, I'm just walking her away from it. Slowly but surely, she's about 50 yards ahead of me. We're going back to the ranger. I'll give her a couple nights with the other dogs. She does real good. Now the last hunt that I went on that actually filmed, or was able to film, was uh, her and Gypsy together. And Gypsy did most all the treeing. Now, Fury would come in there and take full advantage of the tree. And, uh, <laughs> evidently that wire's still hot. Come on here. Come on here, J Hey, Fury. Come here. Come here. Come here, that wire's hot. Come on. You just got shot. Come here. 
Come here. If I can get over close to it, I'll pick her up. Get her over it. Keep her from getting shot. That shock you, baby girl? I didn't do it. But anyway, so thought a couple nights of hunting with them other dogs. Might, you know, she really ain't bred to tree, she bred to track, so anyhow, she tracks. And she'll tree, I know she will, but uh she's slowly but surely working it out. Look, she's on another track right there. Look, look at that cone trail. I don't know if y'all can see the definition, but that is a heck of a cone trail. And I may give her a few more minutes, but it's already 10 o'clock. I've been hunting for two hours. It's time to go to the house. So, uh, got to work in the morning. Us working folks can't hunt all night. But till next time, y'all like what you're watching? We appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share our channel. Let your friends know about it. If you can learn something from my mistakes, or if I do something right, you know, on occasion, it's a rare occasion, but every now and then, that's what it's about. But most of all, it's about those little idiots. Look at her, running with her nose up. Ain't opened her mouth. She is winning one. Or winning something. Might be a deer. But uh, I'll find out in a minute. Till next time. Thanks for watching. It's been another episode of Louisiana Hunting.